6-11 left to go here in the first quarter, and uh, Thompson's been the story on both sides of the ball thus far, in my opinion, for the Dukes. Gaspin with some protection as the tight end set up in front of him. Scott dropped back here, able to get away from Jerkovic. Lost one deep down the sideline, turning and making the play for the interception in the defensive backfield was Spencer DeMetal. DeMetal read it perfectly, and the Dukes get their second consecutive defensive drive, ending in a turnover. Emson getting a lot of playing time here. Didn't get word on side, side bot. Uh -oh. Now Hines gets through the second wave. Can he beat the defensive back to the end zone? Switches hands, tries to stiff arm, and gets in. A.J. Hines from 57 yards away. The Dukes get on the scoreboard again to make it 13-0. Two quarters in, two scores for Hines. Parr looks around. Spiral pass towards the end zone. Caught, touchdown. Duquesne scores again as Dominic Thiemann catches the TD pass from Parr, and it's 19 to nothing Dukes with 9.47 left to go in the second. In the third quarter, first pass the second half, and that ball is deflected twice and caught out of the air. Double tap deflection and going into the end zone for a touchdown is Davey Henderson. The sophomore wide receiver after two deflections goes the distance, and the Dukes score anyway. Coming in motion is Bill O'Malley. Stutter step move from Allen. Cuts it back across the field. Good read by Allen. He might have one move to make to get the far side of the field and maybe a long touchdown as Allen lowers the shoulder and gets knocked out of bounds at the 12-yard line. Huge game there from Allen. What a read at the line of scrimmage by him. It was outstanding read. Great vision. You won games because you were going from sun into shadow. That's what it looks like right now. Yeah. That high pass is intercepted. Pickoff coming back the other way. It is Ty Williams tries to make a move, and he's thrown out of bounds.